Good evening, I'm Shamika Neely. Multiple law enforcement agencies have converged in the Wildwood Grounds area about 7.5 miles south of Paoli in search of an escapee. Mark Booyer escaped from the Indiana State Prison in Michigan City on July 12th. The U.S. Marshals and other officers canvassed and searched the area and were unable to locate him. Department of Corrections spokesman Doug Garrison says if Booyer isn't captured, by the weekend he'll get some unwanted national public attention. Fox TV's America's Most Wanted plans to profile him on Saturday. The U.S. Marshals are asking that anyone who has any information on his whereabouts to contact 1-877-WANTED-2 or 1-877-926-8332 or if you have helpful tips call the Indiana State Police at Jasper 812-482-1411 or the Orange County Sheriff's Office at 812-723-2417. Some companies may feel like they have to do less with more, but not Indianapolis-based drug maker Eli Lilly. They are experiencing fiscal gain in revenue and net income during their second fiscal quarter. They are the fifth largest biotech company in the U.S., earning $1.5 billion. That is a 21 percent climb from their reported net income in 2008. At the last minute, Monroe County Public Library leaders found out that the digital bookmobile would make a stop in Bloomington on its national tour. The 74-foot trailer housing the bookmobile takes up so much space Lincoln Street next to the library was closed to through traffic today. The Disney designed bookmobile allowed visitors to experience the library's downloadable digital books and try out portable reading devices. The vehicle is equipped with broadband, internet connected PCs, high definition monitors, premium sound systems and a variety of portable media players. An old steel system plant in South Bend went up in flames on Tuesday night. Firefighters responded to the blaze at the Centennial Steel Warehouse on South Main Street. Investigators are trying to determine what caused the fire. And your weather for tonight? Partly cloudy, a 20% chance of rain showers. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the upper 70s. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy, lows in the upper 50s. And your five-day forecast for WTIU, I'm Shamika Neely.